voting yay. Okay, great. <laughs> Libra. Hello, Libra. This is Joyce here, Shadow by E Tarot with a little on you, bringing you your tarot love tea. So let's find out what's happening for Libra in love. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And thank you for helping me grow this evergreen Bayou Tribe here on YouTube. YouTube's only Bayou Tribe, so do hit subscribe. Hit that button. Share my videos coming down below and hit that notification bell. Hit all notifications, please. So that you know each and every time I upload new videos and go live here on YouTube due to my current situation. I am doing email readings, no video. If you would like to book your email reading, please email me at shadowbyutero at gmail.com. All right, guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's do it, Libra. What's going on in love from my beautiful Librians, Libras, Libras, Librian, Libra, whatever the fuck y'all are called. Libra people. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Uh-huh, sitting there single, huh? Ready to mingle, though. Seven of Pentacles. I think you're waiting for your luck to change if you want my honest truth. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you want some love. You want some commitment. You're ready for it. You're ready for it. The Empress. You want that forever person. You want that love, that attention, that pate. Mm-hmm. You want that togetherness, that union. Could be Sagittarius you're dealing with. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Judgment. Reconciliation. Somebody wanting forgiveness. Let's see what we got. Three of Pentacles. Yep. Wanting to build a solid foundation. The Emperor. Damn, the Emperor sitting right under the Empress. You want your true soulmate. That's what you're looking for. The Emperor and the Empress looking for one another. Aries energy, Gemini's here. Heavy Capricorn. Mm hmm. You want reconciliation with who you feel is your divine counterpart. You want marriage, long term. This is, I'm sorry, this is reconciliation. Hierophant, yep, you sure as hell do want marriage. Look at you. The fool. Aries. You definitely looking towards a new beginning, wanting to jump in with both feet. You single now, but you ready to be married to this person. Heavy Aries energy here. Underneath the deck, I have the King of Swords, Aquarius, and Capricorn energy in this deck. Truth be told, Ten of Swords, and it's going to be a painful truth for some to a married person. If you're having dealings with a married person, there's going to be some type of hard truth. Two of Cups, New Beginnings. The fool. Somebody's going to express that they want a new beginning with a past person. King of Wands. Yep. Somebody got the hots for a past person. Four of Cups. Tired of being a third party for those of you who are. Because this is sitting on that Ten of Swords and Hierophant. Three of Cups. Yes, indeed. Wanting to celebrate a new beginning with somebody from the past. The Chariot. Ready to move forward. Cancerian Energy. So you're ready to go. You want a commitment. Some of you, not all of you, are in a third party with a married person that you like, I'm sorry, can't do this anymore, got to go. Um, I want a commitment. Let's see what the tea leaves have to say about that. Well, we have already the cane. Pay attention to your health. 
Some of you need to pay attention to your health. There's something going on here. We have mountain major challenge to overcome. So it could be a major challenge with health. Doesn't have to be. We have bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. We have pig. Beware of greed. Don't be a greedy ass. And what's this? Crown. Honor and respect will come to you. So don't be greedy and honor and respect will come to you. Uh, what is this under the deck? A woman. Dealings a relationship with a woman. This could be involving a woman or you could be this woman. Alright guys. Those are your messages. I just had to look again. Victory in some endeavor. You will have success somehow. It could be financially. They're saying watch your health. And they're also showing me you're ready to move on from a situation because you're single. You don't want to be single. You want to be in a committed relationship. And you're moving on and you're looking toward reconciliation with a past love. That's what I'm getting, Libra. So that's it. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.